Okay, guys, welcome to this episode. This is going to be a crazy episode. Not a lot about guitars, not about a lot about reality. And we're going to call this one, What the Duck? What the Duck is going on? Well, in the last 24 hours, I have driven 16 of those hours. Why? To right a social wrong. That's right. And it might have been my fault. Um, if it was, we'll put up a historical marker right here because... The day I make a mistake, that's right, there will be a, an, an historical marker. I almost made a mistake. An works with the vowels plus H. Back to, this isn't what the H is going on, it's what the duck. Okay, so, where did this story start? Because it never ends. So, the last week has been a nightmare. I've had law class final. I've had school board stuff, I've had work stuff, I've had guitar stuff. It's just been literally overwhelming to the average person, but not to me. Now, somewhere in the fray of all of that, I can't believe this happened. I missed, I think I missed, National Sitting Duck Day. So the day came and went. I'm not sure if it was on... Uh, June 8th or 9th, I'm not sure. But I was reminded when I saw this social media post, two of these ducks are totally different. Three of these ducks are not the same. Yeah, this one. And it hit me. I missed National Sitting Duck Day. And I think I could have been one of the honorees, and I forget. And that's really hurtful because I am, as you can see, the Duck Duck Goose state champion. How could I forget an important holiday like this? So now I'm in a quandary. What do I do? Well, we can pop two ducks with one dart here. Okay, so you loyal viewers will remember. Just stick with me here. It jumps all over, but in the end, I always close it up. You know that. Attention to the fact pattern. So, about 40 days ago, you loyal viewers will know that I handed a guitar, an arch top that I put together to Bob Log at a hotel, modal, hodal, hodal, modal, whatever. I handed him the guitar. He went south. I went to work. And that guitar was called Bob the Junk Pile Art Shop. The playlist is right up there. Bob the Junk Pile Art Shop. So Bob takes it to the stage that very night in Phoenix, Arizona, cultural capital of the world. And there's going to be footage of it right up there, right about not now, because I want you to pay attention. In that footage, you will see a duck and a boat. Okay, let's go to the footage. So, a couple days go by. I hear from Bob. Bob's traveling all over. Bob says, the piezo in the guitar needs to be moved a little bit because the feedback is horrendous. A little too much on the bass side. And on top of that, it would be nice if the coil pickup were moved down the body closer to the bridge. We decide that at some point, 
as his tour of a grueling 40 or 50 cities in as many days, starting in Phoenix, Arizona, and going to wonderful places like Wisconsin, like Green Bay, Wisconsin. Anyway, I'm thinking, okay, when Bob gets back down to Tucson, I can get the guitar back. And then when he picks up again and does, listen carefully, on or about the 14th, 15th, 16th, and 17th of July, if you are in San Diego, if you are in Palm Springs, if you are at the Surf Rodeo in Ventura, California, or you in, are in Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California, you will be able to see Bob. I will be able to see him four times. So the plan was get the guitar back, make the slight modifications, and get it back to him on one of those days, probably Palm Springs, California. So jump in the car. Twofold purpose. Twofold. One, I got to get the guitar. Number two, I need to consult with somebody who's big in the duck world. And you saw Bob's duck in that video clip if you watched it. If you haven't, you wouldn't know just how big Bob's duck is in the duck world. Believe me, he's big in the duck world. He's my special guest today. How are you doing? Yeah, great. You too. Anyway. So I went down to consult with Bob's duck. Now, at a very limited time frame, I found myself actually doing some consulting along the way with trees and seeing some childhood relics and trinkets that kind of ruined the picture I had. I don't want to get into all that. The person has paid me not to tell you. Anyway, I did some consulting because that's right. I am arborist to the stars. So, I get to the venue. I walk in. Bob is playing the last song of the set. I drove eight hours one way to hear one song. Then he did an encore. So I jumped up on the stage, got a clip of myself, stand next to Bob, and then the real work began. I picked up the guitar. Now, while we're here, there's a couple pieces of tape here. You're all familiar with this guitar. It's pretty. Don't covet it. Um, but we are going to move the piezo, which is over in this area, and put it somewhere over here. And we are going to put a dearm and pickup, take off the silver tone move the DRM and pick up down into this area. Once that's done, we'll leave it sit around the house. And again, those dates are San Diego, July 14th, Palm Springs, July 15th, Surf Rodeo and Ventura, July 16th, and Los Angeles, July 17th. The plan is I get this guitar to Bob in Palm Springs. He amps it up, tries it out, does a sound check for Tam Tam, and then we'll know if it's going to go on the road or if it's going to come home with me and hang anywhere I want, maybe next to the Bob Log, the third scrap of radis that I know you've been coveting in the background. There's a poster back there. It has a restaurant on it, too. Anyway, so I'm there. End of the show. There's a break in the action for a couple weeks, so I go to Bob's duck and I say hey Padna I need your help with the duck dilemma and Bob's duck has agreed to come down here and do damage control and we're going to restore my social capital when it comes to national sitting duck day here in you know what, I want to put the other t-shirt on again. Do not covet all these t-shirts I've been changing. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work on this, and you are going to see what I saw when I drove in and saw Bob in Tucson, Arizona. Uh, 
just last night. I drove eight hours again to come back and let you see all these wonderful things. All right, I'm going to get to work. You watch Bob. I'll see you next time. Maybe I'll see you in a minute. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm under such great social pressure. Oh, but I wasn't under such great social pressure. I didn't stop and take some pictures of the first saguaro cactuses I ever saw actually in the ground because I used to set them with cranes in Vegas. They would bring them in, you tie onto them with a, a wooden uh, framework and lined with, with carpet and you use motorcycle tie downs. And I was setting one at the Thunderbird on the Las Vegas Strip. And these people come in from Arizona. They're like, they're, they're the cactus police. They're like the mattress police, but they're real. They were going to arrest people for possession of a, a controlled cactus or something. I don't know. Anyway, so we'll look at a couple clips of what I saw out in the desert on my trip. And then you'll see Bob playing while, once again, I get to work on this guitar. Cheers.
Before I forget, the duck consultant pointed out that the person who took this picture is very, very talented. Um, you keep up at this clip. You will be doing laundromat grand opening photo shoots before you know a big round of applause for the artist. And before I get back to work on this guitar, do not covet this guitar because you will be too busy coveting. That's right. I have Bob Log III's boat in my shed. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. Don't be a hater. It's okay. It could happen to you. Can't you be happy that it happened to me? Well, that's your problem. You know what? Duck does psychological work too.